When it comes to buying tires, it's very easy to become overwhelmed with the vastness of options. You're looking at everything from a very specific type of tire to tackle a very certain job like winter tires and ultra high performance summer tires, all the way over to nearly universal hybrid all weather tires that claim to handle all weather and all seasons. But even these universal tires can infinitely lean towards different directions of dry performance, wet performance, winter performance, and even lifespan. Options are nearly endless, making the process of choosing what's best for you a pretty difficult task. So it's no surprise that one of the most common questions that we get asked pertains to narrowing down tire options to fit somebody's needs and even their budget. And one of the best ways to narrow this down is to see what other people are buying. So today we're gonna go over our top five best selling tires going into 2021. What's going on guys? I'm Sean, Sean Bita at Fine Instagram. And before we get started, I gotta remind you guys to smash that subscribe button. And of course, head over to fitmanindustries.com to browse the most comprehensive store of wheels, tires, and suspension. Let's get started. Let's start this list off with our fifth most popular tire, and that's going to be the Nitto NT555G2. The Nitto NT555G2 is a great choice for someone looking for a high performance summer tire. These tires have an extremely attractive and also aggressive tread design that is built to deliver serious traction and handling performance on dry and wet pavement. Starting from the center, you can see these tires have two smooth ribs running all the way around the tire with no grooves, which increases traction, steering response, and stability by keeping more rubber on the road. Moving outward, you can see that there's a rather large tapered tread block, which are designed to increase cornering grip in both dry and wet conditions. And then finally, moving to the outermost portion, the NT555 has a reinforced shoulder to help keep tire roll at a minimum and help evacuate water, aiding towards better grip and predictability in all sorts of weather situations. But probably my favorite part about these tires is the fact that they actually increase the tread block sizes when you have a 275 millimeter or greater section width. It makes a super aggressive look that is also functional. You see a lot of your bigger muscle cars and your pony cars running these tires because of their low tread wear rating means improved grip under heavy load and acceleration. Now, I personally run a set of these on my modified E55 AMG, and they've been awesome to aid with traction, and they don't sacrifice any comfort. One of our most popular selling sizes is a 255, 35, 20, and those come in at just $708, and that's shipped to your door. You really can't go wrong with these bad boys if you're looking for great performance, great comfort, and overall a well-rounded performance tire with a fantastic aggressive look. They won't, however, be a great choice in snowy conditions in winter weather. Let's move on. Number four on the list, and undoubtedly one of the go-tos when it comes to a performance-oriented all-season, let me introduce you to the Nankang NS25. The NS25 is rated as a UHP or ultra high performance tire. And to achieve that rating, Nankang uses an asymmetrical tread design with a large smooth center rib that much like the NT555 keeps more rubber on the road. And then it's surrounded on each side by a pretty aggressively notched tread pattern. And what this does is it allows the tread to flex and move as it rolls. And it'll actually use the edge of these blocks to grab the surface, giving you more traction in pretty much any condition compared to a tire without these edges. There's also a bunch of little sipes all over the tire to help with evacuating water and even give you slight winter capabilities if you end up in an area with some snow. Now, this is not a winter tire and should not be used as such, so please stop confusing all season with winter rated. But where this tire really shines is in its compounds. The newly developed silica compound for the NS25 is where you're gonna see your largest performance gain over other tires in this price bracket. You can get this tire with a 400 to a 500 500 treadwear rating, and that really seems to kind of be the sweet spot for a tire that can perform, but also keeps lifespan in mind. Now, with a 400 treadwear rating, you're not gonna see the same mileage here as some of your top tier brands, but you are getting a great bang for your buck. A set of 235-35-19s price out right at $688, and that is not bad at all. These seem to be marketed more towards your mid-size sport-oriented sedans as an affordable way to replace your factory tires. Think BMW 3 and 5 Series, your Mercedes C and E Class, and then your Nissan Z cars, and then your G cars, and stuff like that. Going back to Nitto for number three, the Nitto Neo Gen tire is a heavy hitter in the bang for your buck realm. The Neo Gen, like the Nankang is, technically an all season tire created to provide performance in all weather conditions. But here you see a silica reinforced tread compound in a special design to help provide comfort and performance. Wet traction and grip are enhanced not only from the tread compound, but also from its circumferential and slanted grooves around the inside shoulder and center of the tire. 
they work together to expel more water from under the tire, which results in added stability and increased hydroplane resistance. But maybe one of the biggest reasons these tires are used on a lot of modified cars is because the outer side of the tread design actually has a wider section width than most tires. So you guys running a bunch of negative camber are actually gonna see some extended lifespan with the Neogens over say an NT series Nitto tire. And it's also gonna have very similar performance characteristics. This is a fantastic choice for the performance oriented daily driver, especially if you have a bit of camber. The set of two 25, 40, 18 are gonna set you back only around $608. Our number two tire comes in with the Toyo Extenza HP2. Also an all season tire, the Extenza HP2 is a performance oriented all season tire. Toyo uses a silica based all season tread compound that is matched up with a directional tread pattern for improved dry and wet traction. This new compound and tread pattern helps the Extenza HP2 break up to 31 feet shorter than their original Extensa tire. This would be a great option for somebody looking for a performance oriented all season with excellent wet traction, who's a little bit less concerned about comfort. The most popular size is the 235-4018. It comes out to about $708 for a full set. A very popular choice for daily drivers. Our number one most popular selling tire and has been for quite a while now is the Federal 595 SS. The 595 doesn't particularly go above and beyond in any category, oddly enough, but what the 595 does do really well is it provides its users with an abundance of grip from its 240 treadwear rating compound while remaining extremely cost effective in hosting all season attributes with an aggressive aesthetic. Its unidirectional grooves enhance stability and traction over anything else in its price bracket. Equal stiffness in both the center and the shoulder areas of the tire help minimize uneven wear and increase grip and predictability under high load. And the steel tire corded and reinforced sidewalls give you an almost universal performance in all temperatures. Temperatures. Optimized tread pitch and alignment reduces noise for comfort at highway speeds. And the Federal 595 is the perfect tire to beat the absolute crap out of on a daily basis and feel zero remorse. That's why these tires are so popular among the drifting community. They provide more than any other tire in its price bracket performance wise while still remaining at the entry level price bracket. I don't want to make this sound like the tire is neither great or bad because it's not either. It's simply an entry level tire with upper mid tier grip at an extremely cheap price. A set of 235, 40, 18 tires will only set you back $500. And I personally use 595s on my B8S4 and they have been an absolute blast to beat on. They don't seem to have any issues in the wet and are wearing extremely evenly with above average abuse. I genuinely love these tires for what they offer for the money. I hope this list can help you narrow down your choices into a couple favorites across the community and even help you relate to one of these tires attributes to help you come to a conclusion on your next tire purchase. But that's about gonna wrap it up for our top five tires going into 2021. What do you guys run on your rides? Do they make the list? Let me know. I'm genuinely curious and I try to respond to as many comments as I possibly can. If you wanna snag yourself a set of these bad boys, they are all in stock and ready to ship right now. So head over to fitmanindustries.com to browse the most comprehensive wheel, tire, and suspension store in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to stay notified with all of our daily uploads. And if that's not enough for you, go check out our second channel, Fitman Industries Garage, for all kinds of other technical content. I'm Sean from Fitman Industries, SeanB.fi on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Peace. Peace.